picture was taken during the 19th century and which one more recently? The uncertainty is perhaps what fuels Israeli photographer Dror Mayan, who uses the same cameras and techniques as those used in early photography. There is no comparison, no comparison to the modern technology that we are all used to, digital technology. Uh, let's say if you have a very, very, very advanced digital camera, it will go up to 20 or 30 or 40 megapixels. This technique, we have billions and billions and billions of, of, of information. Recently, Mayan launched a new exhibition at the Hecht Museum in Haifa called Photo Archaeology. Mayan wraps up a long-term project where he traced the footsteps of two researchers, E.H. Palmer and Charles Drake. Drake and Palmer were the first researchers and the first photographers to document the uh, Byzantine ruins in the Negev, Shivta, Ovdat, and others. They were the first in history, actually, and they were almost totally forgotten. The exhibition features rare original pictures from the 19th century taken by Drake and Palmer and the new photos by Mayan side by side. Comparing the two time periods, we can definitely see the extreme changes in the area over the course of nearly 150 years. From deserted and neglected sites in the Negev to a vivid archaeological site and a national park. We can also see the evolution of photography. Uh, they traveled with four camels. Uh, endangering their lives, doing so, uh, carrying all the equipment with them uh, in order to take the photos, which means all the chemicals, cameras, dark tent to develop uh, the plates. And they documented um, the sites for the first time. The next generation that documented the sites in the Negev was 30 years after them. Dror gives us a rare glimpse into his art produced from his cozy home in Atlit on the northern coast of Israel. Apparently what looked so easy in 2019 wasn't as obvious 150 years ago. Every photo takes a few hours to develop from the minute the ingredients are prepared until the final product. We will take this plate, cover it with collodion, put it in the bat, silver bat. Then we will put the plate into the plate holder. So in a way from the dark room to the studio, uh, it wouldn't burn. We will take the shot, the photo, which will probably take us around 10 seconds, maybe in this today's light. It's a winter here, so a bit uh, gray. And we will come back to the studio, develop the plate wash it, fix it, and then we'll see what we'll get. It takes a day until we get the final result. A picture of our cameraman Ran Schneck with his digital camera and me holding a mobile phone. Technologies one can only imagine during the time Dro's camera was built. But just like Palmer and Drake who risked their lives to capture the remains of a disappearing world, Draw's photos have a value which goes beyond lighting, composition, or depth of field. Rui Shapira for I-24 News.